Hi, this is Azad Ahmed, and we're just going to go through the t-tests, which are part of statistical testing for hypothesis testing. Um, basically, this is an idea where you're going to be looking at data, and uh, the hypothesis means that you're guessing that is the average of the results on target or not. So that is the purpose of the t-tests. For example, we have here some data, and um, this is basically different. You see, as you can see, numbers, data from the process, um, which are above and below 10. So you suppose get this data, this is these are 31 samples and the average is coming out to be 9.37. And let's suppose our target was 10 actually. You want to meet a target of 10. Now you have to make some decisions here. Does this data meet 10 or not? Um, typically what we do normally is that we take a look at the data and we basically just start and make a graph in this way by um, looking at the graph, we are able to assess whether or not this data meets the target. This is the target of 10, and our data, as you can see, some of it is above, some of it is below. It looks like it's you know almost equal above and below, um, but we're not sure. We just have an idea. So these are like questions you need to answer. T-test will help us with that. Um, like, are our if this was temperature reading, are these readings meeting the target of 10 degrees centigrade? Yes or no. Are the weight readings meeting the target of 10 gram? If this was the weight of our product and we need to ship out our product, um, is it meeting our target of 10 or not? So for these answers, we need to do a t-test. How do we do a t-test? We go to data and then we go to data analysis and we're going to be using the t-test of two sample assuming unequal variances. And with that, we have to input the first range variable is going to be our first column which has our data in it. Our second range is going to be the second column which is the 10 which has our 10 which we input as our target and alpha of 0 0.05 means that we want to be 95% confident that our results meet the target. So our output range is just an area where we want our printout to come from the result. So when we click OK this this will automatically generate these numbers. Now, don't get worried about the numbers. They're just very simple to understand. The mean is 9.37, which we already checked. This is the mean of our sample, first sample, variable 1. And as we know, mean of second will be 10 because all of our results are 10. So we have 31 observations. Um, the good news is you only need to look at one of those readings there to determine our result. So basically it's like you see, suppose a criminal goes to a jury or to a judge and we have to decide are they guilty or not guilty. So we have here two hypotheses, that is two ideas. One idea is that there is no significant difference between the mean of those samples in column 1 to our target, that is 10, meaning they're both the same, there's no significant difference. Or our other hypothesis is that there is a significant difference between the means of our sample and the target. So how do we determine it? We just have to look at the p-value, whether the p-value can be either less than 0 0.05 or more than 0 0.05. In our results here, we get a p-value. There's two. There's actually one is a one-tailed and another is two-tailed. More commonly, we look at the two-tailed one. And the reading there is 0.22. Even this reading is 0.11. Both of these readings are more than 0 0.05. So if we look here, we see that p value is more than 0 0.05. So based on that result, we can now say that there is no significant difference between the sample mean and the target. This indicates that our results, they are more or less meeting this target. There's no really significant upward or downward trend. There's no really big difference between our target. So in this case, Yes, this is good. We are basically saying that our results, they are basically, they are meeting the target of 10. Our readings are meeting the target of 10 grams if it was weight. So do we need to undertake a project to improve this process? No, we don't. This process already is more or less in under control. So we are meeting our standard there. However, a different story comes out if we are to look at our results in a different manner. If we look at our target, if our target is 11 instead of 10, then there's a different scenario. If we do that, change this to 10, 11, now as you can see our target has shifted up to 11 
and now this data indicates to us that it looks like more of our data is on the downward side there's not so much data on the upward side so when we do our t-test again this will be indicated in the results that there is something that is not meeting our standards so we do again a two sample uh, t-test and with the same output we get a p-value now of 0 0.001 for the one tail test and a p-value of 0 0.003 for the two-tail test. Now as you can see our p-value is less than 0 0.05 and now we're going to say there's a significant difference between the sample mean and the target. So now our results are not meeting the target of 11 and we can see here also now our trend line. If we put in a trend line here and we put in a polynomial one with an order of 6 this gives us a good indication that our data here is an upward trend now it's on a downward trend we want to investigate what's the reason why is this going down why is this going up why is there sudden increase here so now we need to do some work on our there is a project we need to do because our t-test indicates that our this sample is not meeting the target of 11 so in this case if we have the same questions we are now going to say that if this was temperature, no, it's not meeting the target, no, our weight is not being met, and so we do need to undertake a project to improve the process in this situation because our data does not meet the target. So as you can see, t-tests are very useful, and this is a topic which is under green belt and black belt, and also it is a part of statistics analysis which is under um, also in college and in school. So hopefully you've been you've enjoyed the video. Please put in your remarks. Have an excellent day. Bye for now.